Hey guys, and welcome back to Mischief Maker TV. Now, you guys know we have this awesome crawler hauler that we actually purchased to make our life living on the road, going from event to event, much easier. Now, you guys also know that we've been living in it full time, and uh, with living in it every single day, not moving around, just being in one place and living in the crawler hauler, we have come to realize some things. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing those things with you. guys let's do a quick overview we got this crawler hauler to make our lives easier being on the road going from event to event across the country some events will not actually allow you to sleep in your crawler hauler believe it or not they do not have the permits for it so in those cases we would be staying in a hotel but we got this so that we kind of had more of our own freedom and we were cutting down those costs of staying at hotels or even staying with friends uh, we didn't want to be a nuisance. We're the type of couple where we like to just have our own things and not really rely on people too much. It bothers us a little bit. That's just the way we roll. So we got this. Um, obviously, there have been absolutely no events going on. 2020 is a write off for events, but it's all a okay. So, Walter and I have been living in this space full time for a little over a month now and with living in it full time bearing in mind we're supposed to be moving around I'm supposed to have my Jeep there's stuff that's supposed to be going on that just hasn't um, there are a couple of things that I would do differently in this trailer now the awesome thing is sundowner if you don't know them definitely go check them out and look them up you can actually customize these which is the road that we were actually going down and just so happened to come across this in ohio and it was kind of perfect it was a little off what we you know there was some things that we would have done a little differently but it was just perfect it was there it was meant to be so these are just some of the things we're having a little difficulty with in this trailer. All right, let's touch base on the first thing. The first being the obvious to me is obviously this crawler hauler is black on the outside. Which makes it a hot death box on the inside if you do not have your generator up and running or you have no hookups which most of the time we do so we're fine but it gets really hot in here really quick I've actually switched the AC off right now pretty warm in here and it's going up pretty quick uh, but as soon as you switch the AC on as long as you keep the surfaces inside the trailer coolish it should be fine but it does warm up here pretty quick we are thinking uh, that we're maybe going to wrap this in a lighter color. We think that may help. And especially if we're gonna be doing what we were supposed to do right now, next year, that is definitely something that we are going to take into consideration. So there is numero uno. All right, so we're gonna move on to number two which is storage. Now we're not small people whatsoever. Yes, I just moved us into the bathroom uh, because I wanna show you our closets. Boop. Now this is actually all folded right here. This is a bag that we just keep there because when we go to SoCal um, or we go somewhere else, we just take that bag and shove everything in there. You can see all of our jackets and hats and stuff are in here. That is primarily Walter's closet. You're gonna see my closet, which looks like Hot Mess Express. Look at that. That is it. I have so much stuff folded in the bottom of here. I have like three different levels. 
where I try and fold everything super tiny and um, keep everything in there. I mean, we've even gone through our stuff and given some of it to charity. I've given a huge portion of my stuff to charity because I just, you know, will never wear that stuff again. I'm not 21 and hitting the club, you know? So uh, like the short mini dresses really don't need to be in there. So um, <laughs> yeah, and as you can see, we've got sneakers on the floor right there. We actually do have storage for them right here underneath the stairs. But as you can see, they are kind of chock-a-block, like falling out. So, you know, you kind of just gotta make do with what you have. And I store a lot of, I'm just noticing, you can see the toilet in this the entire time. I'm just so used to seeing that. That's so radical. Uh, anywho's, um, I use a lot of bags, right? When I go out, I have like my camera bag and then I have my bag with all of like my food and diabetic supplies and all that sort of good stuff, change clothes uh, just in case and uh they kind of just get stored right underneath here underneath the table there we go right there and there are normally like another three four bags shoved in here so we don't actually ever have that space so if we want to come sit on the couch right here we normally have like this much which kind of doesn't really do anything for us, but we make it work anywho. And uh, the other big storage place that we have is up here. You see, there we go. Like bags and drones up here. Oh, hi there. It's in here. Let me see if I can, there we go. So all of our bags are in here. I have some, merchandise in here and bags and that actually goes quite deep down but uh that's where we store our bags people so honestly inside the trailer is just a little tight for our personal stuff plenty of room for everything else there's just the perfect amount of room in the kitchen cabinets for our paper goods uh our canned goods um, so that is fine, but for our personal stuff, it's really difficult. And nine times out of 10, if we do take this somewhere and we have the Jeep on the back, there'll be a bunch of stuff shoved in the back of the Jeep as well. Now there is storage on the back of this trailer, but again, I'm kind of focusing on the inside today. I will do like another video on absolutely everything and weights and fuses and connections and all sorts but we do have storage outside where the jeep is stored um, we have the two bins underneath there they are not too waterproof so i don't like to keep any of our personal goods there um, and we obviously have the ford so we do shove a lot of stuff in the back of the bed for now but when we start moving and traveling uh, we have to rejiggle everything every single time. So storage is, uh, whoo, it's, it's a big one here. I don't know how they would be able to give you more storage in here because there is a lot of storage, but just for us personally, it's, uh, it's a thing. It's a thing. Okay, so since I'm up here in the boudoir, if you will, um, let's go on to number three. Now we've had this since uh, October, November of last year, and it comes with a, a decent mattress, but I will say we're probably going to switch that out um, sometime soon-ish. It's been comfortable up until this point, but now I would maybe get like a mattress topper or something like that. And although it's great, uh, I do tend to fall off the mattress a lot and wedge myself in this nice little space right here. This one right here. This little space right here. <laughs> Just plop right on in there sometimes, which is pretty funny. Wow. Dude, this fly is all about like 
totally almost getting in the way all the time. And again, since we're up here again, let's move on to the next point, which I think is the fourth point. Okay, you have two TVs, right? Let me show you where they are. You can see one right behind me and you can see one right there. So, you know, you're laying up here, you're chillaxing, press the go button and uh, oh, wham bam, thank you ma'am. Hello. Oh, hello. Okay. Then you try to switch them off. Oh, wait, they both go off. That took us a long time to get used to, to be honest with you. Um, I'm terrible at it. Walter has it down now. There's like a specific angle that you have to have it. But every time I do, it switches on and off all at the same time. So I don't know if there should be like a separate remote or just something so that both of them don't come on. But when you're trying to like switch the bedroom one on and switch that one off or vice versa, gets a little on the frustrating side. I know, first world problems here. <laughs> Let me show you this switch over here. Not this one, this one's fine. Okay, so this one beside the kitchen. Here it tells you everything. It tells you your battery life, your fresh tank life, your gray tank, and your black tank. Super cool. But with the fresh water tank, so it says that it's half full, I like a visual. And this is where you can see how much water is in your fresh water so tank. So I just switched you around for a second. So it's right here. Now, what I think would be like better would be if there was some kind of gauge, maybe on that wall right there or even in the corner beside the window where you could actually see because sometimes I just don't trust this you know I don't know why I think that would be like a cool thing to have or even maybe right here so you can see because nine times out of ten we don't really check with the gauge we open the door and normally we have a bunch of stuff on the floor normally shoes in the way so we can't get to it so that would be something kind of cool you know just so that it's more visual and you can actually see the water level all right so let's talk outlets for a hot second there's obviously an outlet in the kitchen where there are two outlets there and then that is pretty much it for down here, with the exception of, here's the refrigerator, okay? And all the way down here is an outlet. Strange, so as you can see, I charge a bunch of my drone stuff down there, but it's just so weird, especially when you have like all of the space up here, like, you could have an outlet up here. You could have one over here or maybe tucked in the corner a little bit so it's not in the way of the grill or even over here. Like all the way over here or on this wall right here. Very interesting choice as to where they put that random little outlet right there. Although this was a custom made crawler hauler. So maybe the guy wanted it there for a reason, but yeah, for us, it's a little weird. It means that we have two outlets on either side of the bed and uh, normally we just plug everything into there, but it would be nice to have more outlets down here so the electronics are kind of out of the way and charging. Especially. Something else I'm not too fond on is just the amount of living space, honestly, especially if you're gonna live in here full time. I would definitely have taken a couple more feet um, and that would have made a huge difference. You know, when Mischief Maker sits back on there, he doesn't take up the full space at all. You can probably fit a razor on its side at the front. So we do have like a considerable amount of space um, that we probably would have used for living space and it probably would have made everything so much better. <laughs> but 
again we took what was in the lot because we thought it was perfect for what we needed it for all right the very last thing that i really don't like about the trailer is that when your black tank starts to fill up and you're somewhere warm the smell dude the smell i know y'all are gonna laugh at this it is funny but it sometimes gets just a little much also you have to remember that you have to clean out the system very important if you don't do that you're gonna have that smell honestly just think being in such a smaller space than normal it you know it, it gets everywhere it doesn't matter you could close the door it's you're still gonna smell it in here so that's probably like the last thing I don't really like about the trailer which is understandable all right guys so i really just wanted to not do like a negative video of sorts but kind of tell you the stuff that we just really don't like and would do a little different and it's just all personal preference right like what's not good for us might be good for you guys but if you guys are considering getting a crawler hauler especially from sundowner remember you can actually customize these and sometimes it is better just to go down that road and wait for exactly what you want just saying do we regret getting this because remember we were on the path to getting one customized we don't regret getting this at all even although there's stuff that i don't like or would change i wouldn't change the thing as a whole and i wouldn't change our circumstance as a whole because it's pretty cool and it we just absolutely love it so if you guys are enjoying the channel please remember to hit that subscribe button it's very important and like leave me a comment and don't forget the notification bell but until tomorrow guys i will see you later